I'm Michael Lindenberger. Let's get straight to the point about transgender equality. People who've had a mismatch between the gender they've been born with and look like biologically and the way their hormones and the rest of their bodies inside work, that's not new at all. I mean, you know, it's, you could see evidence of that for thousands of years. It's just not been something that we've talked about. And it's been treated as sort of a, something to be fixed or endured. And only in the last five or 10, 15 years has there been really a discussion about, you know, these are human beings and, and there ought to be a way to make them live, be able to live in a way that makes them happier. People have an idea of gender that is very fixed, right? I mean, certainly people who don't deal with, uh, you know, becoming transsexual or being transsexual don't understand or don't have any reason really to think about the fact that maybe your gender is more confusing than it looks, right? And, and so when someone comes in and they present themselves as a girl and say that they are in the process of becoming a boy, that tr causes confusion. But like anything, as, as things pop up out of the surface and become part of the awareness of more and more Americans, there's going to be people who are fearful of that. There are some people who probably are, are sort of hateful of that, but many people just don't know about it. And so their first reaction is going to be uh, conflict, or at least, you know, probably this very understandable idea of, can't we just go back to where we were? I mean, I don't want to have to deal with this. This is a problem that doesn't affect my family. Um, why, why are we having to deal with these political issues? But I think the truth is people are, um, they have a right to, to live fully developed lives and they're coming out of the shadows to say, this is who I am. Here are the medical options available to me and I demand full protection under the law. I think we should feel really good about that.